Thank you for joining us for a new edition of France in Focus. I'm Nadia Shabi, and this week we're taking you for a stroll along the capital's most famous avenue, the Champs Elysees, that lies just at our feet. From its very regal conception, the Champs has always been the scene of French history and prestige, for better or for worse. Let's take a step back in time. The Champs Elysees is today one of the most famous avenues in the world. But where it's situated started off as marshland with kitchen gardens where herbs, fruits and vegetables were grown. It was in the time of Louis XIV in the late 17th century that a wide promenade was built at the foot of the Tuileries Palace grounds. A beautiful walkway lined with elm trees and flower beds. When the French Revolution began in 1789, this symbol of royalty became an obvious place to spill the blood of the aristocracy. Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were among many who met their fate at the Avenue's guillotine. The Champs-Élysées, French for Elysian Fields, is named after the paradise for dead heroes in Greek mythology. But it's been visited not only by France's heroes, but also by its enemies. It served as a theatre to some of the most dramatic events in French history, such as the Nazi occupation. In 1941, footage of German soldiers goose-stepping from the Arc de Triomphe became a symbol of a nation on its knees. But it was here too, on the 26th of August 1944, that General Charles de Gaulle walked in a liberated France, helping to restore national pride and unity and erase the recent humiliation. Throughout the 1950s and 60s, when the stars visited the capital, the Champs Elysees was the place to be seen. Et au milieu de toute cette agitation, celle de la gloire qui n'éclabousse que quelques élus. The rich and famous came for the all-night parties and extravagant shows. It's a tradition, a rite, almost an institution. And even in song, the avenue is celebrated as a place to be, come rain or shine. In the rain, like François Hollande on the day of his inauguration, it has become a tradition for French presidents of all colors to grace the famous street for VE Day on May the 8th and on the French National Day on the 14th of July. I don't regret paying my taxes when I see that. The Champs Elysees is also a place to celebrate France's great sporting events. On the 13th of July 1998, huge crowds gathered to celebrate France's home World Cup victory. The avenue once again became a symbol of national unity for people of all ages, colors and creeds. And sports people of varying disciplines have covered the 1900 meters of the Champs-Élysées. But the most prestigious avenue in Paris really comes to life at the end of the year. The festivities help justify the nickname City of Light, a treat for locals and tourists alike. Well, nowadays, of course, the Champs Elysees are all about cinemas, tourism, and shopping. Every day, tens of thousands of people walk up and down this celebrated thoroughfare, eager to part with some hard earned cash. That's why most businesses dream of planting the company flag here. Apple is among the latest. But of course, storefront space is limited, and the asking price is sky high, as Fanny Allard and Karina Chabour found out. Every year, millions of visitors flock here, and just as many potential customers. Galerie Lafayette is preparing to join the businesses luring them in. Its new store is due to open in October next year. It's good news for the company, 
but also for the rest of the avenue. It's a very big premium store that offers brands that aren't yet available on the Champs-Élysées and that it attracts new customers. 30 years ago, the Champs-Élysées started drawing in these big names. There were some before that, but it's going from strength to strength and becoming more high-end every year. For this choice shop window, the department store had to get its checkbook out. The 9,000 square meter building was vacated by Virgin Megastore after it went bankrupt. Here, renting a storefront costs over 13,000 euros per square meter. At that price, only the big brands can follow. That's the case for Apple. It's soon to open a store and offices on this site. Its former tenant, Weston, has temporarily moved to this emblematic former cinema on the Champs Elysees, a gimmick designed to open wallets. We've all experienced the magic when we enter a cinema, that moment between when we sit down and when the film starts. We wanted to recreate that moment for our customers. We have a significant client base here. A lot of it is international. They're customers that appreciate the Champs-Élysées shopping experience. So yes, of course, it's quite a deliberate operation. And lucrative? And lucrative. For the luxury store, there's no question of leaving the avenue. It gives it international visibility and the company's best turnover. Weston will occupy these premises until it can negotiate another location on this most popular of arteries. On the other side of the road, Hotel Barrière Le Fouquet is expanding. After a difficult year and facing increasing competition, the luxury hotel is trying to attract the wealthiest tourists by transforming its offices into luxury apartments. We will be the only hotel that will be able to offer such a beautiful product with such a magnificent location and with an exceptional view of the Arc de Triomphe. An argument that carries weight with a clientele ready to pay up to 18,000 euros a night for a piece of the French capital's most popular avenue. Well, just like the song says, rain or shine, it's always a busy scene here. And what a view up from the Arc of Triumph down to the Tuileries Gardens below. Well, the French modestly call this the world's most beautiful avenue, and we thought we'd give you a chance to make up your own mind with this report by Claire Williams and Sonia Baritello, a day in the life of the Champs-Élysées. We're just wandering and walking today on the Champs Elysees, hopefully doing some shopping. That's the main reason why we're here. I haven't told him yet, though. It's my first time here and it's brilliant. Yeah, it's nice. It's all beautiful. Very big. Good shopping. Good shopping. Um, Very expensive. Very crowded. Yeah. <laughs> Il y a les petites pockets qui arrivent par derrière et le problème c'est qui d'attroupement il peut y avoir un gars qui peut arriver et faire un carnage. Il n'a aucune autorisation pour en vendre et du coup ça, ça porte préjudice aux fleuristes qui veulent vendre à des roses et qui payent des, des charges à l'État. On est en grève pour demander à la direction de reconnaître la pénibilité du magasin parce qu'on est ouvert tous les dimanches de l'année, tous les jours jusqu'à minuit. Pour la première fois que je visite Champs-Élysées, c'est vraiment la folie. Vraiment, j'adore. Les stars qui viennent faire euh, shopping, j'ai l'habitude de les voir. Je trouve qu'il y a peut-être une, une petite déperdition de l'image. J'ai vu évoluer les Champs-Élysées. Pas toujours dans le bon sens. C'était un rêve de visiter le Champs-Élysées. Bon, aujourd'hui j'ai réalisé un de mes rêves. C'est super.